we're getting pretty close. We're almost on the verge of uh, starting to use uh, this arc. And uh, an arc is um, it's a reference counter that is uh, it's an atomic reference counter. It's safe to share between threads. And this is for a situation where we imagine we want to uh, you know, declare something here, my number equals 10. And then we would like to um, somehow you know, safely put it into uh, all these threads and have each thread do something to the number and then, uh, you know, stop them here, make make sure that the, the program is uh, is not finishing before the threads are done. And then down here, we're going to say like, uh, you know, now the number is, and then we want to print my number. So how, uh, you know, how are we going to do that? Because right now uh, it's just, uh, just 10 and, um, you know, up to now, we've used um, reference counters and uh, things like uh, cells and ref cells, and uh, let's just see what happens when we uh, when we try that. So, uh, let's see, cell dot ref cell. There we go, and there we go. RC. So you remember, if we want to uh, modify number and send it to multiple, have like multiple owners. Well, first we wrap this inside a ref cell ref cell dot new like that and then uh, so now it can be changed and now we want to uh, have multiple owners so we have an RC new and then let, let's say for uh, and then we have this handle back here that we did last time and then for I in 0 to 10 actually we don't need to uh, print I anymore but uh, so here we would uh, what we would do is uh, clone and we would clone uh, my number uh, my number uh, let, uh, let's we'll call it number to go in because this is the number that will go in and then uh, you would say like uh, number to go in dot uh, borrow mute like that get to the the value inside of it plus equals 10 and uh, Russ is going to say hold on that's not safe um, and let's see, let's just not try to display that for now. Let's try that again. So attempted to take value of method borrow mute. Oh, that's right. By the way, that's uh, if you forget to, uh, to call a method, it's going to say, Hey, you you know, what are you doing? Because borrow mutes, that would be a field instead of a method. So if you see that uh, attempted to take value, it means you forgot to uh, forgot the brackets. So there you go. This is the error we wanted to see. So RC ref cell cannot be sent between threads safely. And uh, right here is the uh, the thing that it considers most important. Uh, so the trait send is not implemented for RC ref cell. And if you look into the uh, the documentation, right. Uh, here, let's go to RC. And if you go to the traits, not only are they not implemented, but they implement this trait saying, hey, it's not safe for send and hey, it's not safe for sync. So this is, um, and if you look at the, um, the Rustonomicon, this is a cool book that, uh, that tells you about all the, all the weird, weird things in Rust that, uh, that are maybe kind of, I don't know, not known to, to most people, but also here it, uh, it describes this pretty well, uh, nice and simple. So uh, a type is send if it is safe to send it to another thread, and a type is sync if it is safe to share between threads. And you need both of these to, uh, to be safe, to, uh, to modify between threads. And actually, if you look at, uh, at ref cell, it, is, uh, it has send, but it doesn't have sync. And uh, we need both. And uh, so what we need is uh, an atomic reference counter instead. And this is a, um, you know, this is thread safe. And uh, so the way it does it is, um, I guess, is it uses the, uh, the processor itself. And I think it's the registers in the processor. It, uh, it makes sure that, um, that uh, operations are hand handled or are happening in the order that they should. Like there's no um, two two things accessing a single register at the same time. I don't know if that's uh, how it works, but it uh, I know it has to do with the uh, 
with the uh, processor itself. So, uh, but the nightmare scenario that uh, that is trying to avoid that. Uh, so this is why uh, an arc exists in the first place. Is let's say you have um, you know my number and it's uh, it's ten, and you imagine we have uh, you know thread one, thread one, and we are going to do. Uh, I'm just going to call it n actually. N, uh, n plus n plus one ten times, and then uh, thread two, and we're also going to do n plus one ten times, and the nightmare scenario in uh, in languages sometimes is um, is that uh, actually let's start it from zero, is that you um, you know these uh, these threads are working at the same time, and one of them or both of them access the same data. They take a look at it, then they make a change based on that, and then they return that. So you can imagine, like the first time they go around, you know, n starts at zero. Um, thread one picks it up, says this is a zero. I'm going to add one to it. Puts it back. Now it's a one. Thread two looks at this, says, hey, this is a one. I'm going to add one to it. Puts a two back. So that's fine. But then the next round, uh, you know, thread one comes and picks it up and says, hey, this is a two. And then before it can do anything to it, thread two jumps in, grabs the two, says, hey, that's a two. And so red, thread one will say, okay, what is uh, what is two plus one? Well, that's a three. And then thread two says, okay, what's two plus one? That's a three. And it puts back a three when it should be a four. And so you get this uh, this nightmare scenario where nothing's panicking, nothing's, uh, nothing's shutting down. And you're just getting like uh, numbers that are not quite the ones that uh, that you didn't expect, and maybe you're doing something like really complicated, like uh, gravitational simulations, and you know you have no sense of whether this is right or not. Like maybe this this asteroid should be going this way, and it goes like that way instead. It's just a little bit different, and uh, there's no there's no way for you to uh, to tell that the numbers are just a little bit wrong. And so anyway, that is why uh, why you use an arc, um, and instead of a ref cell, uh, you would use a mutex because it has both. And I see the video is getting long, so in the next video we will actually uh, solve this.